one is mainly to go over the curriculum, the classes, what does, uh, how long it takes, that's it depend on you guys, and just a little brief description of the clinical portion. All right, so this page shows you guys the curriculum for the psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. Uh, as you can see it over here, it's highlighted. Um, and the program uh, includes 63 credits. And uh, these, so this one is not transferable. Um, however, this course, so the policy and advocacy, the transformation of nursing and healthcare, um, as well as the essential evidence-based practice and leadership. So all these courses are transferable from another program. Uh, and that's what I did. So I went to American Public University for these three, for these four classes, because uh, I had a scholarship and because the tuition was cheaper. So I used my tuition uh, assistance toward this uh, four courses. And then uh, when it comes to the specialized courses, you cannot transfer them. So you have to take them at Walden or whichever program you're trying to uh, go to. So you'll have the three P's, which is your patho, your farm and your health assessments. And then um, usually an intro to uh, the program that you're into, which is the psychiatric program here. And that was uh, the approach of treatment uh, of psychopathology, which is Psychopharm for short, which is the course that I'm taking right now. And um, by the beginning of this course, um, you will be required to search for a preceptor and have an application done before the starting of this course. So watch with me, guys. So pretty much if you're one of the students who like to take two classes at a time, like you can take these two in a semester, these two in a semester, even I don't recommend these taking these two in uh, the same semester. But um, I know that um, some students like to do that. And uh, but however, keep in mind that before starting this course, you have to have an application for a preceptor, which I'm going to go over as well uh, and then the whatever you will have left after that will be four main courses um, which is the uh, psychopathology and diagnostic reasoning which include the course portion and the practicum portion uh, the psychotherapy with modalities so and then the practicum the uh, psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner care across the lifespan one and two and both of these uh, require um, practicums so you'll have four practicum courses and then you can be able to graduate uh, on the other hand what i want to show is um, the fields that are appropriate for you to use um, for your rotation and Walden has it all laid out and this is why I personally like this because it was able to tell me which preceptors I could use uh, and I'm gonna make another video about how to find the preceptor so this one is mainly to go over the curriculum the classes what does uh, how long it takes that's it depend on you guys and just a little brief description of the clinical portion so as you can tell over here, the, um, the first course, which is the one that requires a preceptor, uh, it tells you here that the choice has to be a psych NP or a psychiatrist for a minimum of 160 hours or 80 encounters, meaning 80 patients over the course of eight weeks. So that's what would be what would you be looking for and what you would be asking the, the, the doctors and nurse practitioners um, that's what your recommendations and there is no um and here uh, i was i was going to mention this this is um what it shows that you can you have to see patients across the lifespan for this course 
Uh, so at least one patient has to be an adolescent or a child. So keep that in mind. For the second course, which is pretty much psychotherapy, you can use any licensed therapist, uh, counselor, social worker. This is where it gets much easier in general to find the preceptor uh, as long as they hold a master degree or higher. Um, so uh, an LPC, uh, a psychologist, those are the choices. And here there is no requirement of age groups that you can see and save it's 160 hours and 80 encounters. And then for the next two courses, it's pretty much only can be a, a psychiatrist or a, a, psych, um, a psych NP. And for here, it's 50-50. So 160 hours, uh, 80 hours adults or 40 encounters adults and then 80 hours uh, children. And then the same for the other course. Uh, so pretty much this is kind of, uh, and this will be uh, what a lot of people, I guess, struggle with. And that is the reason why I wanted to like, so sorry, not sure what happened, but uh, overall this video was uh, in order for you guys to see the model and curriculum of my school. And uh, I will explain furthermore how long it took me to do it. You can um, actually take it in two years full time or uh, three years part time, which is what I chose to do since I wanted to be in school and working. So for you guys, please stay tuned in for more information coming in. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so I can uh, drop in more videos for you all. And I will make these as series um, to be posted at least uh, every Sunday or twice a week if I have time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a wonderful day and until the next time.